Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Gorgo in the Culture Victory Speedrun. Uh, I, I don't know. We're, we're, we're trying to win the, the fastest possible uh, Culture Victory that we can. Now, we're not amazingly good at it. Like, you know, we're still figuring it out. So we're going to purchase an art museum in here. And start working on that. I could, if I wanted to, uh, purchase an archaeological museum and start doing that sort of a thing if I wanted to speed things up a smidge um but I'm thinking we could do like archaeological museum into purchasing an archaeologist in a turn in a couple turns so let's make sure we let's just throw a pin down to remind ourselves with the word arch I was hoping to use Great Writings almost exclusively to win this, but I guess the way that the game is shaking out, I'm going to have to use uh, Great Works of Archaeology and stuff like that. We're up to 10 out of 45. I'm wondering what it will be next turn. I'll vote for myself twice, and I'll vote for um, Theater Squares twice, and we'll see what happens. City Center was picked. We go there. Theater Square, Theater Square, Theater Square, and we have two envoys to play around with. We're going to put one in Brussels to maintain the Suzerainty there, and then we'll hold on to the other one. We'll pop you over here, slap a mine down. We'll give the city another tile to work. You head to the west. You'll be able to purchase an archaeologist next turn. There we go. Sculpture, and... I might hold on to this sculpture to maybe throw down in Mycenae. I think that's a pretty reasonable thing to do. Water and air. There's conservation. On which life this allows us to get tourism from Walds. Interesting. If I had Valletta, I could maybe use Valletta to purchase Walls or something, but I don't have that. Shoot that guy. And then attack him, and then settle the city. Are you kidding me? Go ahead and get the Acropolis out. Well, this probably dead. It's fine. Run away. Head to the west. You're staying there to fog bust, and you're going to wait here for a turn or two. We're going to go ahead and purchase ourselves an archaeologist. Because that has a pretty big return very soon. Once we get the Heritage Tourism card plugged in. Yeah, that kind of sucks. We do get our Builder back, but he's probably dead too. And over here in Corinth. My stuff has been wiped out. Get it repaired. Keep auto-exploring, little warrior. You've done your job so far. And uh, we've got some resources to sell. Let's go ahead and talk to Dido, who might have a bit of cash on hand. And we'll just click on Diplo Favor until she accepts the deal. 22. Let's bring this down now a bit. And then bring it slowly back up to where she'll accept it. Because now what we want is raw gold. Because there's not a whole lot of time left in the game. What we want is all of the available raw gold. The gold that does not come on a per turn basis. So now we're switching our strategy a little bit. You give me 24 gold per turn. Plus how much gold? Sorry, how much gold per turn would you give me? Not much. Now we should be able to purchase ourselves an archaeological museum, uh, sorry, an art museum in here. Place this great work. Go ahead and pick up this. I will take a pound maker artifact because he's actually pretty far away from me. It might be hard to get more of those. And you are going to spend a build charge on repairing that. Even though it doesn't take a build charge, I lied. Okay, I need to get 
alliances with everyone. I'm going to declare friendship with you. I'm going to make a deal for open borders so that you'll pay me a small amount of gold. Then I'm going to get an alliance with you. It's going to be an economic alliance. You're going to give me some extra money. Then I'm going to go ahead and talk to the next person in line, Matthias. We're going to declare friendship. We're going to make a deal. It's going to be open borders. You're going to give me a little bit of gold, and then we're going to end that. Then we're going to go ahead and alliance. It's going to be a military alliance. You'll give me even more gold because you want to be my friend. Not much, but even more. Then we've got a friendship with Dido. We're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to get open borders with her. We're going to make her pay us a little bit. And the reason, the reason we do the open borders is because they will pay us a little bit of extra. Uh, I didn't mean to get a cultural alliance with anyone. That is important not to do. And then with you, we'll declare friendship. We'll get you to give us open borders because you'll pay for open borders, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll get an alliance in the form of a research alliance. You give me all of your money. And then we'll talk to the Aztecs. We could get in a cultural alliance with him, but again, I'm worried about... Uh, although he is the weakest in the game in terms of culture, so I'm okay with getting a cultural alliance with him because it will give me some more diplomatic favor to be able to sell to the AI in order to generate gold. It's saying that we're going to win in 19 turns. If, if we could win sub-150 turns, I would be ecstatic. I would be over the goddamn moon. I have to go ahead and purchase myself a skirmisher to fight this off, which is really not what I want to be doing with my money, but it is just the unfortunate reality of the situation that I am in. We're going to head over here, see if we can pick that up. You're going to settle in here, immediately start working on a necropolis, get that iron online, and you will repair that tile. The purpose of education. That's fine. We're going to shoot you there. Take that guy back over here. We queue up a theater square festival again. We completed the amphitheater down here. That means we go straight to theater squares, straight to theater squares. And you're going to go into alert since you've run out of things to do. I have open borders with everyone, right? Yes, I do. That means I'm generating a lot of tourism. We're up to 13 out of 49. You can just hang out there. And roads, what are you working Honestly, maybe I should have got some granaries. Um, hindsight 2020, maybe granaries would have been good. Because a lot of these cities were prevented from growing by the lack of granaries. It maybe would have made me get more of these theater square festivals. I didn't have a whole lot of gold to spare, though, is kind of the problem. Uh, you actually need to repair these because I'm not getting my full tourism from them either. And you're going to head over here and get that Niter online. I will purchase the Niter, of course, to be able to not only have Niter to sell, but uh, just have a good tile to work. Go ahead and sell you my Diplo favor, 37. Thank you for all of your money. And I will give you, how would you like to buy 20 horses and 20 iron and 20 Niter? Give me 16 gold per turn. Let's go to Amanator. Would you like to buy 20 horses? 20 that and two of this. Just want to offload these resources that I have absolutely no use for. It's all we're doing here. We're just trying to make some extra cash. Go ahead and harvest that. This is a Gorgo artifact. That's actually a good thing because it means these are now um, getting some advantages. Who's the next great artist? Donatello. He makes sculptures. We're not far off getting him. We have another great writer coming out in a turn or two. Let's go ahead and send this to... Who can I reach? Perhaps I could reach Hungary if I go to F Fokea. So I'm going to put that over there and maybe I can just about reach Pest. I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm really, really hopeful. We'll go here, we'll harvest this specifically to finish the Acropolis. And then I'll probably end up just purchasing it in here if I need it. We're going to send some envoys. We've got six envoys now to play with, which is exactly the kind of number that we want. I could take over Bologna. Uh, I could take off Zanzibar with just four. And then have two left over for future. Let's go ahead and put that down there. We're generating 25 per turn, which is pretty damn good. Okay, the there's the that. Mercy. 
keep moving these out of the capital. Oh, swear not by. Keep making more. We're up to 15 out of 49. More theater square festivals. Could you use tile improvements? Production focused, please. Yes, you could use tile improvements. Probably use a granary and a builder at this point. Um, what about you, Fireslos? How are you looking? Get you a builder. Athens, how are you looking? Focus on production. Get you a builder. Can't do it this turn, that's fine. Put that really nice tile over there. Head you east. Uh, no, Pest is just out of range, dude. It's just barely out of range. Trade with Biblos, I guess. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Put that mine down. That'll give this city something good to work. And you can just fortify there. All right, we have cultural heritage. We are going to plug in the 100% uh, tourism from Great Works of Art and Artifacts. We are going to go ahead and replace Raj. No, we don't need aesthetics anymore, do we? No, we probably don't need aesthetics. Although it is probably a good card to just have in place. So maybe we'll get rid of Raj instead and then keep aesthetics. And then we just click on environmentalism and hope that we get there in a meaningful amount of time. Or hope that we don't get there in a meaningful amount of time. Because if we get there, that means we've been, like, severely delayed. Go ahead and take over Bologna and Brussels. Excellent. Of course you would stand there in the way, wouldn't you? I like how the uh, archaeologists make little whip noises like Indiana Jones when you click on them. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over to Rhodes. And then we'll make another one. To be on. 27 great rider points. We're getting renaissance era ones now. We are going into the next era soon. Athens could definitely use a builder. Not enough faith. Not that. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Like that. We're also pretty cr close to getting a great artist, so we're going to want a um, theater square available for that. The mine down there. Another production tile for Megara. Great artist heading over here. We're going to want one more... Um, one more thingy square. More of those. More of those. More of those. I will take a Barbarian Artifact, just so we have three different artifacts in here. We're up to 200 tourism per turn. Saying 17 turns, I'd love to bring that down. Who is... Matthias, why do you make so much culture? God damn you. Um, how dare you. How dare you slow me from winning the game. Tazi working... Okay, a couple farms might not hurt in there too. Athens is working the good tiles. Good, good production in there. We're investing pretty much our entire economy into getting great people. To try to win as soon as inhumanly possible. Still says 17 turns. Okay, that's fine. We're now in another golden age. We're going to take... Uh, reform the coinage now for the extra little bit of gold that that will net us. Since the faith from chopping isn't going to be super relevant because we've basically chopped out all the territory that's available. Seriously, nobody dealt with that guy. All right, that's just the way it's got to be. All 
Alrighty. One more. Well, you actually don't need food. This is what you choose. Take a hill. Nobody's using that hill either. Production focused. Okay, excellent. A little bit of optimization. You can come here and improve that. That'll give this city a little bit more production. Wait, who owns that hill? You do. Okay, that's fine. And... Yep. So now we want another place to put a great work. I'm probably going to teleport over to Argos. Purchase that next turn. Your embassy is always welcome. There's a major drought up there. Alrighty, there's banking and the enlightenment. Let's teleport now our artist over to Argos so that we can purchase an, an art museum here. And then we're going to work on, uh, let's see, the industrialization. For the extra coal that we might be able to sell. We still have some room in museums, but I think overall we're in good shape. A um, little bit of work to be done. We're going to fill up these great work slots. Uh, we're up to 19 out of 51. That is not boding well. It's taking too long. And uh, although, you know, it's still early days. Um, we might win an efficient victory. You never know. I'm still hopeful that we can beat... Uh, look, honestly, again... As long as we can beat my last rec my last per personal best, I'm happy. Like, that's all I want. I just want to beat myself. No, wait. <laughs> that, wait. Let me let me rephrase that. I want to beat my own per- I want to be- <laughs> I just want to- I just want to do better than I did in the past, okay? And and really, isn't that what we all wish for? Just doing better than we did in, did in the past? That's kind of, maybe that's why speedrunning appeals to so many people. Because it's about that, like, process of self-improvement and constantly, like, just going and going and going and going and going. Okay. Megara, you're about to grow. I'm going to give you a hill that I will then subsequently improve. Corinth. You unlock all your tiles. Make sure you work the high food ones first. You want to swap this one? Now you have all high food tiles. Sparta doesn't need to grow. You might need to grow at some point. Could do that if I wanted to. Um, you, on the other hand, you are working on improved hills. Get this hill. You head there and improve it. Although a lumber mill would probably be more efficient. It does take two builder charges. And then you will create that sculpture. Excellent. We're up to 200 tourism per turn. 20 out of 51 tourists. Let's have a look and see what that says next turn. 22 out of 51. Another great rider. Yet more tourism. And because she was so Theater Square Festival. Theater Square Festival. Let's have a look around. You need another tile improvement. May as well go get, go get those whales online. It's another luxury. Head there. Put that there as well. You want to give me elephants. I'll give you some gold. I've got a bunch of stuff to sell off. I think one of my commercial hubs has been damaged. It has been. Uh, so, let's go ahead and talk to the AI. Let's talk to Poundmaker. I will say to you, hey, uh, take 50 of these. And you will give me all of your money. Thank you. 
So give me all your gold per turn as well. So you have 2,000 gold. I could easily justify another archaeological museum. And I will. And I'll be able to do that next turn. Maybe when I can sell off some more stuff. Uh, let's actually talk to this guy. Do you want to buy 20 of each of these, perhaps? That's two. Uh, 20, thank you. And 20. You give me eight gold per turn. Alrighty, nice. Uh, let's talk to Dido. Hey, Dido. Nice to meet you. Would you like some oranges? You would like some oranges. Let me also ply you with some horses. Some iron. And some niter. Give me 15 gold per turn. Very nice. Whatever, we'll just throw mines down. We'll move this out of the capital, and we will make if another one. So, good. so what is our current standing? 23 out of 51. We are slowly making progress to a reasonable degree. We've got some Acropolises finishing. By no means. Uh, I think I maybe went to the Great Works too late, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure what exactly I did wrong. Let's get ourselves an archaeologist in here. And then let's go ahead and talk to Aminator. Maybe you have some money. You have no money. Never mind. Matthias, you have a bit of cash. How much for all of the cash? I want to get as much raw gold as possible in order to fuel my... I'm getting 14 per turn. 10 from City States. Jesus. Um, no wonder I'm always maxed out on that. Uh, yeah, so... I need a little bit of cash to make use of this guy. I can always park a religious great work down in here. Um, you know what? Where's that newest? Michelangelo. Andrei Rublev. If I do this, the right move would have actually been to a placement here. So we'll have to do a little bit of dancing around with great works in order to optimize things. But we are about to get a themed workshop. We'll plug in public works because builders are nice. Not really a whole lot I can do with these builders. I mean, I guess there's a bit of work to be done down in Argos, but there's like this really annoying unit. So I've just decided that that city does not exist. I mean, I guess I should, in theory, be moving these guys down to deal with it. Like, if I was being playing optimal, and I should be playing optimal because we, this is a kind of speed run type thing where we're trying to win as fast as possible. Up to 25. I need to... I, I want to win in 15 turns, damn it. It'd make me happy if I could win in 15 turns. I don't know if that's going to happen, but... And put a great work in there. Hey, nice. Another rider, another day. Keep moving those great works of riding out of the capital. The reason I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it is I, I move a great work out of the capital, then I create one. And the reason I'm doing it like that is because you can see here, uh, when this great work is in Sparta, it's worth 12 tourism each. Um, when it's when it's over in Argos, it's worth eight. So the most, like, so here's all my Spartan buildings that can hold great works of riding. I want to keep as many of them in here at the end of the turn as possible because that's going to maximize my income. Teleport you over to Rhodes to plug in there. More Theatre Square Festivals. And more Theatre Square Festivals. A single Envoy here. We will just hold on to it for now. Guess we can harvest that if we want. There's copper over there we could harvest, I guess.
Where's Magnus? I have to get you out of Mycenae now. Reassign you to Argos. I don't know why there's Poundmaker artifacts up here. It's actually a little bit baffling. <laughs> what the hell are they doing up here? Like, I don't even know how they got up here. I don't think he's even been up here. Catastrophic eruption. Barter grows. Okay, Theatre Square Festival. Theatre Square Festival. We now have the cash to potentially justify another. We're getting so many of these. We move a great work out of the capital, and we create another one. It is necessary for the. We're up to twenty-eight out of fifty-three. We're making progress. You know, it's it's good progress. Just hoping that it is good enough to. Uh, it, it, again, if I could beat one hundred and fifty, or honestly, just even myself, I'd be happy. Is that themed now? All right, so we themed the capital. That's a really big move. Um, that's going to give us quite the boost that we can look forward to head out into the water just constantly pumping out great Not people cartography and you head over here Waiting for him. Where are my other builders? Changed my mind about you. Now we have a whole ton of great works that we can mix and match and do things with. Awesome. Another barb cap appeared, you say. Theater Square Festival. Guess what we do after a Theater Square Festival? That's right. More Theater Square Festivals. We're up to 500 culture per turn, which is kind of silly. We're four turns away from winning according to this tracker. Somehow I doubt that, but that would make me really happy if we did if we were able to do that. Gorgo Geneva. So these state ones are actually quite rare, so I like to take them if I can. Gentle Eruption. Okay, military tactics. Urbanization. We're going to go ahead and get another Great Rider. We're getting these. We're just chain pulling Great Riders. Let's uh, let's get some of these Great Works moved out to the east. We're running out of room uh, in the western side of this menu. I know I'm using like cardinal directions for a left-right menu. Sue me, you can't stop me. I'm more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Alright, so we'll move that out. Create another. Leave that one in there. Theatre Square Festival. Theatre Square Festival. And a Theatre Square Festival. Four envoys to play around with. And we'll take back the suzerainty of Antananarivo. And we will hold on to the rest. I'll put one into Geneva because it's a tiny little bit of science, I guess. Why not? Waiting for Magnus in here. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves another archaeological dig. Squad, archaeological. I need some more money. Hey, the bank of Poundmaker. Give me some of your money, please. Here is 91. Actually, I'm really close to getting all of the money that he will possibly give me. Another way to do this is to just click on this, and then you'll see how many you're over by. So if I bring this down by one and bring this down by one, he'll accept it, but I can't bring it down by another one, right? So that's kind of a cutesy-wootsy way. Archaeologist, very nice. And now we're trying to convert our gold into tourism. And uh, yeah, we're making some good progress. You hold on there, you hold on there. Alright, you guys are hanging out. Actually, what I want to send you to the east, so I kind of changed my mind there. Midway through, go get that one. I could be spending my money on purchasing these guys, 
but I think that's not a good use of my money because then I would run out of money and slots, whereas I need to use my money to create more slots for me to, to, to place my great works. And in fact, I think it's a time to do a little quick review. For example, you lack an amphitheater, as do you. We'll just get a couple of those amphitheaters going. And send you out this way. More theater square festivals. Probably be better to queue them up, but I like having the responsiveness of having a city kind of... It, it, it makes me feel like the cities are actually doing something when they're like, Hey, I did a thing, you know? Kind of like an employee reporting in after a job or whatever. Like, uh, you send them on a mission, they come back, it's like, Hey, I need a, I need my next next task. Kind of, kind of has that feel to it. We're up to 33 out of 53... We're up to 37 out of 53, so we are we are starting to actually really kick off here. And we've got another great artist, and now we need a place to place that. Uh, I'm thinking, well, that's already done, isn't it? Let me have a look. It's probably going to go up there. Let's sell off our favor now for gold. We could probably pick up a bit. Why are you always broke? Stop being broke, so I can take your money and make you broke. Give me all of your money. So we're two over. That's a step closer. We should be able to purchase that next turn. Um, in reality, I should have teleported you up there, but it is all the same in the end. Alrighty. You're heading into the water. You're harvesting for the good of the nation. The good of the land! I know I just spent money, but... It's fine. In fact, I could probably faith purchase the art museum in here. Makes my life a little bit easier and less gold re reliant. And hey, anything that makes me rely on gold less, I'm happy. In order to rally people. 38 out of 54. I might just extend this episode because it looks like we're about to win. Um, in all honesty, I was thinking we weren't going to win. Like right now. <clears throat> So I'm going to do something unorthodox. <coughs> My god. I'm going to do something slightly unorthodox. I'm going to move this out of the capital. And I'm going to create a great work of music and sell it next turn. What has happened? Actually, you know what? <coughs> My voice just went. I'm going to call... Hold on. Let me take a sip of water. <coughs> Excuse me. My god. What is happening to me? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go down here. Let's go ahead and do another theater square. Whatever, we'll power through. You guys, uh, it'll be a quick series compared to a lot of my other ones. Because it is a very focused series where not a lot of decision making. It's all about execution. I already have a Geneva artifact, so I'm going to take a Preslav one. I'm going to teleport you up to Athens so that you can place your great works in there. Unit needs orders. Let's go ahead and we would like to harvest that. I need Celestial Navigation. What? Now, I guess I never picked that up, so I guess you'll just hang out and wait there. A physician without there is Astrology and Theatre Square Festival, Theatre Square Festival. You pop over there, harvest that, you're waiting. I'm in a tour. How would you like to buy the only great work of writing in the world? Okay, you already have a great work that's blocking you up. You don't have any great work, so that means you would take this. So typically the AI won't sell more than 20 at a time. What they really need to do is just have like plus or minus buttons on either side of this button so I can like change this without having to like... You know what I'm saying? So we sold off that great work. How close are we to another... Writer, so we can probably sell off the next one. And that's really just to keep... To keep our gold flow, uh, our flow of gold incoming. Um, maybe another archaeological museum. Not quite. We need a little bit more cash for that. Maybe next turn. Uh, I'll take barbarians. Come on, a sub, a sub 151. Would make me so happy. So we're at 38 out of 55. It is now 
41 out of 55. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get the sub 150 win, but man, it would make me happy. That's a lot of faith. Archaeological Museum, and then Archaeologist. Dido, would you like to buy my great work? Now, I don't mind selling them a cult, uh, thingy generating great work at this... Uh, culture generating great work at, the sta at this stage of the game, because we're already far into the sort of end game, and a little bit of extra culture to some of these saves isn't going to make or break the bank. Yeah, if I could get more, if I was able to get more trade routes, it would actually make a big difference, I and mean, we might have, we might win a few turns earlier. But, uh, you know, there is a little bit of RNG with regards to how fast you can do this. Like, a lot of it is execution, and I didn't execute it the cleanest. I'll be the first to admit that. But I still think there is quite a bit of RNG with regards to, like, the land that you get, the uh, placement of the land, where the other players are. Let's talk to the Aztecs, haven't talked to them in a while. Uh, go ahead and buy my great work of music. I probably could have sold this a long time ago, and maybe that would have given me some marginal benefits. Um, definitely something I could have done. So I just want to pick up extra diplomatic favor, because a diplomatic favor is very easy to translate into, like, just gold. Like, straight up gold. Like, it, it, it's about for every, like, you want about 25, say-ish. Like, 22-ish will get me all that gold there, right? And so that's just why Diplomatic Favor is really, really nice, because it, Diplomatic Favor is easily translatable into gold. Like, this should be about 11. 13 it was. Uh, this should be about, actually, like, 78. 79. Close enough. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm okay at predicting how much it's going to cost me. Um... Let's do it. Uh, purchase, 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 purchase. Art museum. And theater square festival. Theater square festival. Chop, chop. Theater square festival. We have to 300 tourism per turn, 43 out of 55. Go pick that up. Another one of these. Okay, this is a pound maker industrial era or whatever it was. Wait. We're in the Renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're in the Renaissance, but we picked up an industrial era artifact. Amazing. Truly amazing. Yes. 43 out of 56. 45 out of 56. Ah, man, I don't think we're going to break the, uh... I don't think we're going to break it. Alright, let's sell off that great work. Uh, Dido, did I give you one? I did. Uh... Don't think I gave the Cree one. So here's a great work of music. Give me 20 Diplo Favor, which is easily translated into gold, and a little bit of extra gold here. We'll call it that. <laughs> okay, more great works of writing. 319. More great works. Hong Kong. Uh, stone Tablet. We'll grab that one there. Will you allow us to establish an embassy? And uh, by the way, the reason I'm doing this shorter series is A, this is going away in the next patch to be able to pull this off the way that I'm doing it right now, as quickly as I'm doing it right now. And B, uh, I just want to do a shorter series until the patch comes out so I can actually start you know, making my normal content. But unfortunately, this is just the way it has to be. I mean, this is fun, don't get me wrong. Uh, let's see. So we're up to 46 out of 55. A little bit more, a little bit more. It'll take you a while to run down there, but the best direction you can go. We'll take a barbarian artifact. Next turn. 
Just money, please. 46 out of 56. 46 out of 56 becomes 48 out of 56. Nine turns. Damn. I, I, I definitely, I think this is my PB. This is definitely a PB run. Like, it's uh, 100% going to be the fastest run I've done to date. Uh, even though I only put up a video where I did, like, my fastest run the other day. Um, I really don't care about any of this, so I usually just pick whatever's at the top of the list. Uh, with the exception of this, which I will plug into Great Riders. If one, of, if one of these kind of things comes earlier in the game, it might be actually huge if I can get it to trigger for myself. Um, I don't know why everyone picks Great Admiral. Like, why did you put 10 points into Great Admiral, dude? I don't... Like, it makes no sense. <clears throat> I teleport you over to Eritrea. Theater Square Festivals. The four Envoy points. We have all the Sue's Ranity in the game. And we could take Geneva as well. We're up to 51 out of 63. Man is a military animal. And now we're still at 51 out of 63. Man, who's getting all this like who's getting all these like who's getting all this culture? Dido. No, it's not Dido, it's Matthias again. I guess we're just not White getting enough tourism with him. If I had um if I had like the ability to trade with him, it would probably make a big difference. Um because it would cut into his defensive tourism. Got another great work of religion. In fact, I'm actually gonna move some over there to get some another themed museum. Cold War is not thawing. So there's rock bands. We unlocked rock bands turn 150, by the way. We're rocking out 800 AD. Um so we just set up ourselves for another themed museum. This is El Greco. Andrei Rublev can go there. And Hieronymus Bosch. There we go. There's a themed museum. And then we'll teleport you over to uh, Mycenae. I'll take a Gorgo artifact. What are we up to? It's claiming two turns. We're at a 56 out of 64. All right, let's see. 56 out of 64. Your embassy is welcome. Thank you. It's a very interesting strategy that I would be... 56. Yes. Please. Another great musician. There's also a guy... Hmm. Let's we'll skip it for now. It's a very interesting strategy. Um, I will say that. Your embassy is not welcome. What are we up to now? 56 out of 64. Oh, don't, don't tell me it's just going to always climb slightly out of reach. Come on, man. We just, I just, I've got to beat 159. 159 is my current pe personal best. I did another run. Oh, come on, man. I feel like this was such a good run and it's being like crippled by Hungary just generating so much uh, culture right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm honestly, I'm a little bit con confused about what actually went wrong. Because um, I feel like, you know what it was? We didn't get that, we didn't get that classical age, golden age. If we got the, we had the goddess of the harvest, if we got the, if, even if I had actually had my autosave set up correctly, I honestly, I might have thought about autosaving just to see, to explore the possibility of uh, getting that super, super fast win. But unfortunately today, I think it eludes us. It might still be a PB if we can get enough tourism in time. It's really what I'm hoping for here. Eight turns. I don't think eight turns is accurate. Hmm. Now, one more turn. So actually, a pretty good... Um, pretty good drop in my personal best ever run. Because we are going to win next turn, supposedly, according to the data. No, you're on hand. Everyone knows you can't trust data, though, right? It can be manipulated. So let's see. Do we win? Come on. I believe in you. Come on. Give me the win. Give me the win. Give me the win. No? Maybe one more turn?
One more. Uno mas. Sixty-one out of sixty-four. Is this the turn? And first, Hephaestus make. Oh, come on! He got another tourist. <laughs> God damn it! That was gonna be such a good run. It's only a couple of turns off my PB, man. Wait. I don't understand. Come on. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Don't... Man, I want to beat my PB. This is it. This is 100% it. No? I don't know how to get much more optimal than, than what I've done. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, 66 out of 66. Are you joking? Okay, dude. Okay, there we the go. The worth of a culture is not measured by its accomplishments. But in how those accomplishments last and how they are remembered. The beauty that you have inspired... So I think all in all... Uh, I'm gonna write that in. That's only one turn better than my last, my my other run. Wow. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a good few turns better than the other video I put up, where it was 166 turns for a win. 158 is pretty respectable. Um, I have seen someone do it in 104 turns, and I was hoping to get. I I, I want to get a like. My goal is to get a sub 150. I want a sub 150. I could be happy with that. Um, I think the I think the big key thing is the monumentality golden age in the classical age i think if i had gotten that i would have been able to get my cities out sooner i would have been able to just cram out builders i would have been able to generate an insane amount of points towards uh great writers and stuff i think that would have been super duper key um but yeah that's just it man that's it that's the that's the whole thing that's the strategy executed from start to finish um it's not perfect obviously this could be optimized a lot like you could even do this um, I think the, the big takeaway, again, if I had maybe spawned somewhere over here on the map with a few hills, I would have been able to trade with more of the civilizations, generate more tourism that way. Just the unfortunate reality is this game, again, I spawned off in the corner on my own. I was only able to trade with maybe three of the AI. I wasn't able to get the full, um, full five trade routes up and running to take advantage of the plus 25% tourism that you get from having trade routes with people just the unfortunate reality and also matthias seemed to do some kind of um tourism gains here towards the end here um but yeah overall i would say this is a good run i think i can definitely improve on this um i think so so from analysis right if we want to do this again i think the big takeaways are that we want to get that we want to get a hoplite early to help us trigger a golden age um because I think, I, I genuinely believe if I had just built a hoplite in the ancient era, I could have maybe got a sub 150 run here. So there's like, as as I do this strategy, I'm going to learn how to do it better. And I, th I still think this will be a viable strategy in um, in the update. It'll just be slower. And it'll it's still a good way to do it. Um, there's also an argument to be made for whether or not I should have built ancient walls. Like, it's not a lot of tourism, but it's only five turns versus doing this. Um, you know, it, it, that's an open question that I'm not sure if the answer is yes or no. But anyway, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to see me play more games like this. Let me know what your thoughts are was, were on this kind of series. Did you like this sort of a uh, try to beat the game as fast as possible while talking about what's going on, what I make, what I'm doing wrong, and what I could do better? Or do you prefer the more sort of casual look at the game where we were doing you know more chilled out sort of long form uh, let's plays where we go through just an entire game playing some sort of you know interesting strategy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.